Welcome back everybody. Uh, one of my favorite electrical tools in my toolkit uh, is the Fluke 325 clamp meter. And I use that in conjunction with a line splitter to take some measurements on how much current a particular appliance is drawn. So let's go check that out and see exactly how we do it. So I've got a uh, good light set up so we're not in the dark. And I've just got a regular space heater set in here. And we wanna measure how much uh, current that draws. So we'll stick our line splitter into our outlet. And then into that, we'll plug the space heater. And we'll go ahead and throw that on high. And we want to set our meter to amperage. Now this particular meter will read AC amps or DC amps. Um, AC comes up automatically. So we'll throw that on our line splitter there and we can see that it's pulling about six and a half amps. So the reason we need a line splitter is if we were just to throw our clamp around this uh, cord as it is, the two conductors, the two currents running through would cancel each other out and we'd get a zero reading. Demonstrate real quickly. You got nothing. So why are there two spaces in this line splitter? So the one side comes straight in and goes straight through and on out. The other side comes in and comes over to this square and makes a loop 10 times around that square. That allows us to get a little bit more precise reading on our meter. So you can see we only have two decimal places, um, but we'll be able to get a little bit more precise reading by using that second square. So let's take a look at the first one, 3.72. Move to the second one, and there we have 37, so we need to move our decimal place to the left one to get a true reading. That's going to be 3.751 versus 3.73. So using this 10x space allows us just to get one more decimal place of reading uh, to get a little bit more precision. So that's kind of a quick review of my favorite uh, fluke meter, the 325. We'll see you next time.